Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rouse's Chapel. And you're joining us for our time of reflections. This is a time where we gather oh, Monday through Thursday to uh, read some scripture together and to reflect upon the scripture. And uh, this week we're taking a little break from our normal format of using uh, the Revised Common Lectionary for our readings. And today uh, we're using some readings from the from the Methodist um, prayer.org site, which is a, uh, a usage of the Church of England's Common Book of Prayer. So uh, let's delve into some scripture this morning and see where we're going. I see uh, Dick and Nancy have joined us and my mom and and uh oh let's see oh karen has joined us and loretta so glad to see all you guys and martha jones wow you guys jumped on here quick this morning so uh let's go ahead and uh let's go to the lord in prayer this morning let us pray lord open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory blessed are you sovereign god of all to you be praise and glory forever in your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night as we look for your coming among us this day open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Well, friends, let's uh, come before the Lord this morning and confess our sins. Let us pray. When we cry out to the Lord in our distress, he will save us from our desperate circumstances. God will bring us out of darkness and out of the, of the shadow of death. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us confess our sins before our God in our silence. Let us thank the Lord for his faithful love and his wondrous works for all people. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit in all our days. Amen. So friends, our first reading is from, Psalm, from Psalms, Psalm 128. Everyone who honors the Lord who walks in God's ways is truly happy. You will definitely enjoy what you've worked hard for. You'll be happy and things will go well for you. In your house, your wife will be like a vine of full of fruit. And around your table, your children will be like olive trees, freshly planted. That's how it goes for anyone who honors the Lord. They will be blessed. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you experience Jerusalem's goodness in your, your whole life long. And may you see your grandchildren. Peace be on Israel. Spend just a, a, few, a few moments in silence reflecting upon the psalm this morning.
Amen. Amen. So our next reading this morning comes from the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 17 through chapter 3, verse 12. You have made the Lord tired of your words. You say, how have we made him tired? When you say anyone doing evil is good in the Lord's eye, or he delights in those doing evil, or where is the God of justice? Look, I am sending my messenger who will clear the path before me. Suddenly the Lord whom you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you take delight is coming, says the Lord of heavenly forces. Who can endure the day of his coming? Who can withstand his appearance? He's like a refiner's fire or a cleaner's soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and will refine them like gold and silver. They will belong to the Lord, presenting a righteous offering. The offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in ancient days and in former years. I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be quick to testify against the sorcerers, the adulterers, those swearing falsely, against those who cheat the day laborers out of their wages, as well as oppress the widow and the orphan, and against those who brush aside the foreigner and do not revere me, says the Lord of heavenly forces. I am the Lord, and I do not change. And you, children of Jacob, have not perished. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have deviated from my laws, and I ha and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of heavenly forces. But you say, how should we return? Should a, should a person deceive God? Yet you deceive me. But you say... How have we deceived you with your tenth part gifts and offerings? You are being cursed with a curse, and you, the entire nation, are robbing me. Bring the whole tenth part of the storage house so that there might be food in my house. Please test me in this, says the Lord of heavenly forces. See whether I do not open all of the win windows of heavens for you and empty out blessings until there is enough. I will threaten the one who wants to devour you so that it doesn't spoil the fruit of your fertile land and so that the vine doesn't abort its fruit in your field, says the Lord of heavenly forces. All the nations will consider you fortunate for you will be a desirable land, says the Lord of heavenly forces. That's our reading from uh, Malachi this morning. Let's spend just a, a moment or two in silence reflecting upon the scripture. Amen. So our uh, next reading this morning comes from the New Testament, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 16 through 30. A man approached him and said, Teacher, what, must good th what good thing must I do to have eternal life? Jesus said, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you want to enter eternal life, keep the commandments. The man said, which ones? Then Jesus said, don't commit murder, 
don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't give false testimony. Honor your father and mother and, Lord, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. The young man replied, I've kept all of these. What am I still missing? Jesus said, if you want to be complete, go sell what you own and give the money to the poor. Then you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. But when the young man heard this, he went away saddened because he had many possessions. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I assure you that it will be very hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. In fact, it's easier for a camel to squeeze through the eye of a needle than a rich person to enter God's kingdom. When the disciples heard this, they were stunned. Then who can be saved, they asked. Jesus looked at them carefully and said, it's impossible for human beings, but all things are possible for God. Then Peter replied, look, we've left everything and followed you. What will we have? Jesus said to them, I assure you who I assure you who have followed me that when everything is made new, when the Son of Man sits on his magnificent throne, you also will sit on twelve thrones, overseeing the twelve tribes of Israel, and all who have left houses, brothers, sisters, fathers, mother, children, or farms, because of my name, will receive one hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. Let's uh, ponder this, this scripture for a moment in silence. Amen. Amen. Well, let's go ahead and get ready to take on the day. Let's close with a word of prayer this morning. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you for the dawning of a new day. We thank you for all of the opportunities that lay before us to uh, grow deeper in our faith. God, we ask that you continue to inspire and guide us. Help us to learn to, to love you even more today and help us learn to love our neighbor as well. God, we ask that you be with all of those who, uh, who might be struggling today, who might be feeling a little down and low because of the holiday season, uh, because they might be missing a loved one. God, we just ask that you surround them and surround us all with your loving presence let us feel the Holy Spirit in our lives and let us see the blessings that you have for us each and every day. God, we ask for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, uh, I will see you tomorrow morning, uh, but let's remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace. Bye for now.